defeat uh, tonight to Kingstonian in an exit from the uh, Velocity League Cup. I don't know, formerly the Alan Turvey Trophy. Um, Hayden 1 0 against um, a good side and Worthing. I'm not sure the game deserved the late goal that it got. No, I don't think so. I think it was two very evenly matched teams, two teams that went toe to toe again, as we did um, in the league game, and, and two sides probably that, that for one reason and another, had to rest key players, you know, we, we certainly did. Um, without making excuses, the team was a little bit threadbare with our injuries. I, I make no secret of the fact that I wanted to give players minutes on the pitch. I wanted players to rest and players that that were a little bit touch and go for Saturday, we just took out of the equation. We, why Elliot doesn't come on the pitch, Nyron, Gus, etc, etc. Um, but listen, no one wants to lose. It's always heartbreaking in football to lose in, in the last couple of minutes. But like I said to you, you know, even though we want to win every trophy um, and we played as though we wanted to win, in the priority list, this is probably a long way third. So I don't think there's any dramas and we look forward to Saturday's league game. What, um, what stood out to you in the performance tonight, good or bad? I thought it was really good to see young Ollie Allen on the pitch. I think he's a young man with a bright future. He wasn't thrown in against a mediocre Ishmael League team. He was thrown in against a, a very good side and he showed there's real potential there. I was I was pleased with him. Uh, likewise with the likes of, of Calvin and John, it's good to get these these lads on the pitch. Um, but I think that the the most exciting part of the game is we've got the first glimpse of water. And believe me, this is water at 50-60% of his capabilities. It's his first game since November and I think that the pitcher and his movement that he creates for the midfield players is uh, nothing short of exception. Yeah, let's let's talk about those signings. Walter obviously in his first game tonight and then um, Alfie Young as well. What, what, what should we be excited about when it comes to those two additions to the squad? I think that Walter is the best centre forward in the league. I, you know that I love Mo at, at Enfield. I think he's a great player. Um, showed his quality when we played us, as as Cass did. We have great players as well up front in the likes of Elliot, in the likes of Daniel Ejikai. But I know this guy. This guy is 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 going to be the catalyst of this team in the last 16 league games of the season, as he was at Merston, that got us into the um, into the playoffs. So I'm really excited about Walter coming into the building and you know there's 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 a lot to be optimistic about but let's just look to to potter's bar saturday in an, another difficult game and uh work hard for those three points speaking of potter's bar the other addition to the squad um alfie young not available tonight but what can you tell us about him i think alfie has the profile of the center halves that i love he's tenacious defensively he's physically strong he aerially very good but this guy is an amazing technician he's brilliant with the ball He's a creative player from the back and I think in the first phase of play you'll go a long way to get better than Alfie Young. So the two players that we've brought into the football club I think are really exciting signings for us. Um, Alfie wasn't available today unfortunately, he was unwell. And so um, he was another player, Jay Barton, I can list them off, is that we just decided it wasn't worth it today. We, we want to win but the priority is so much Saturday. We, we have to take these precautions now and make sure that uh, the right players are available on Saturday. Um, off the pitch, there was some news in the last couple of days, Jamie Howell leaving and uh, rejoining Bogner. Um, how big a loss is that? Oh, it's a huge loss, uh, because Jamie was uh, really important to us. Uh, he's, uh, he's a very, very good friend. He's an outstanding coach, and quite frankly, it was crazy that he was out of football for so long. He's far too talented to be out of football. Um, I never thought he would be here in the long term. Um, the reason that he come is, you know, sometimes football is cruel and sometimes football forgets. And we didn't want Jamie to get forgotten. So we, we brought him into Kingstonian to help us, knowing the fact that, you know, probably opportunities would come his way. And the day that he arrived, I gave him my word that, you know, as a... As a Sussex-based manager, if the if the clubs in Sussex wanted him, that we certainly wouldn't stand in his way. It's no surprise that Jack has wanted him to go back to Bogner. Um, I think that he will probably end up as Bogner's manager sooner rather than later. I think Jack would be very wise to do that. 
so look, we, we, we will miss him, uh, but we thank him and Kingstonian have made a very, very good friend and a great ally in Jamie Howe. And he got off to a good start last night. Yeah, he beat Corinthian casuals, didn't he? I spoke <laughs> to him this morning. He, w he was pleased to win. He thinks that there's lots of work to do there. Uh, you know, we're, we're playing Bognor, I think, in February. Yeah. So it'd be great for the crowd to give Jamie the reception that he deserves because he, he did a really good job here. Uh, we're not going to replace him. I think that it's quite dangerous to bring in another assistant manager at this stage in the season. You're in danger of the assistant manager getting to know how we work and one or two mixed messages coming into the football club. And so I think we've got a really good staff. And with the good staff, I think we'll move forward and um, carry on with our excellent season. Indeed. Well, on to Saturday. We'll see you then. Thank you.